many. Um, I first started having uh, chest pains, and I was living in Atlanta at the time, and I went and had um, EKGs done, and uh, it didn't show anything. And uh, so I, she said, I just needed to rest and maybe take a break. So I did. And uh, but I continued to have they wasn't real bad, but they were enough to know that something wasn't quite right. So I just, you know, I just endured that. And then I moved back to Wichita in 2007. And I needed to find a primary care doctor. So I went for my checkup. And this doctor checked me from, <laughs> like they say, on a, on a pig, from the rooter to the tutor. He mm-hmm. checked me all under my neck and everywhere else. And he said, Miss Turner, I think we need to send you back and have some tests run. So I said, oh, really? So we went back and uh, we, they found out that I had a blockage under my neck. Uh, I can't think what that artery is called but anyway um i went in the hospital and we had that uh blockage opened and um so okay and then later on down in the on my next checkup i went in i uh, was having some weakness from going up and down the steps in my house and so i'd asked a friend i said uh what is wrong when you're just tired? You know, I'd go up seven, eight steps and I was out of breath. So she said, you need to go to the emergency room. So I ended up going to the emergency room. And um, they said, uh, they checked me out again and did the, I think they ran a couple of tests and they said I had a, I had a, a vein that was stopped up. So anyway, we went in the hospital. And we got a stent put in. I came home with that. And um, I don't know how long it was before I was having some of the same pains again. And uh, out of breath, not really having any other chest pains. I could breathe okay. It was just, uh, I just was just out of breath. So anyway, they said, go to the hospital. I went to the emergency room again, and when I went in this time, before I knew it, they had un- ex- admitted me and uh, found out that the stent they had put in wasn't holding, and um, we had to go in then and have the open heart surgery. This was in 2007, uh, nine. So from then on, I've been just under the doctor's care, taking being taken care of. And uh, he told me that my heart was in good shape. It was just my valves and different things in my body that wasn't um, operating like they should, uh, you know, doing what they were supposed to do. My husband died from uh, heart, heart failure. My oldest son died from heart trouble. And now I have a daughter here that has... She just, she was just tired too. She went to the doctor and they went straight to the emergency room. She had to have a triple bypass. So, you know, we were all very active people. So I don't know what to tell somebody. I hope that they, you know, would have a, um, keep a active life. You know, I, um, sitting around is, is not a good thing that you're not going to have a heart attack. You can have a heart attack just sitting around. You can have one if you're fat. You can have one if you're skinny. Have yourself a good doctor. That's all I can tell you. Make sure you keep a good watch on your on yourself. You know, your body will tell you a lot that's going on with you, but you're going to have to be in touch with what's what's going on with yourself. I have really been a very healthy person all my life. I'm telling you, because now when I go to the doctors, they ask me, uh, "What's the, what's your medications are you on?" And I tell them I have aspirin, uh, simvastatin, and furosemide. And it, is that all? I'm like, what else am I supposed to be on? You don't have diabetes. You don't have high blood pressure. You know? No, I don't. So I'm, I was always a very healthy person. So I don't. I don't have a whole lot of 
of uh, information to tell you about sicknesses and things. I have had a good life. I don't have any regrets about anything. I've lived to be 87 years old, and I don't have any regrets at all. So I don't know what to say about me. I did most of the things that I intended to do. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of content right now.